Natalie Portman wore a cape to the Oscars, and within the lapel, she had like eight names, and those eight names were female directors that had been snubbed at the Oscars, okay? And Rose did not like that Natalie did that, okay? So Rose wrote this very lengthy Facebook post. A Facebook post? It's 2020. Come on, Rose, you know that we do notepad now, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> verbatim, deeply offended. She said she was deeply offended offended by Natalie, okay? Let's take a look. I'm not, I just can't, I'm not, you know? But I do feel like the first part was pretty meaty of this whole post. Let's get into it. Okay. Some thoughts on Natalie Portman and her Oscar protests. The kind of protest that gets rave reviews from the mainstream media for its bravery. Brave? No. Not by a long shot. Okay. More like an actress acting the part of someone who cares. Wow. As so many of them do. I find Portman's type of activism deeply offensive to those of us who actually do the work. I'm not writing this out of bitterness. I am writing it out of disgust. Oh, you made it worse. Okay. Um, I just want her and other actresses to walk the walk. Okay. Natalie, you have worked with two female directors in your very long career. One of them was you. You have a production company that was hired exactly one female director, one female director, you. Okay, so the whole post, it gets pretty repetitive, but you can understand that this was an attack on Natalie Portman. So at the end of the day, Natalie, this is how I feel. Natalie is a woman showing support for other women and calling out attention to a real problem, the lack of female directors being nominated for, the, for Oscars, okay? So, Rose, why are you mad? And it's not like a sarcastic question. Le this is a legitimate question because raising awareness about women being what I feel is deliberately snubbed and informing people who may not know, like I didn't know. I didn't know the amount of women that were snubbed at the Oscars. I learned something from that red carpet moment, right? So what is the problem, you know? Rose goes on to say that Natalie is the problem, right? So we have another quote. I quickly realized you and the other women speakers and, the jo and that joke of an organization are just frauds. You say nothing, you do nothing. Rose, she just did something. <laughs> and like, no, I think shaming the message is the problem. And obviously, Natalie was, like I said, showing support. But Rose saw that and chose, to, chose division and trying to publicly scold Natalie. And this was an opportunity to, I feel, invite Natalie to something and welcome Natalie to whatever Rose was working on, you know, like, and. I feel that this makes people, specifically this makes women hesitant to come out and support other women because they're gonna feel like a fraud or I'm not, it's not enough, so why even try? Or I'm gonna be attacked for it, you know? Like, how is this helpful? And I would rather, like, just say, just say that you, hey, you should be more present. You're, you, Natalie has a huge audience here this, Hey, Lister, you should be more present, and I see that you want to um, support women, and you obviously do it out loud. You know you wore that on the red carpet. You know, join us. And I understand that Rose's point is also like, you don't just get to wear a jacket and call it activism. I understand those things. But at least calling her out in that way, like saying like, hey, you know, wearing a jacket is an activism, at least that wouldn't be so fucking passive aggressive and, and really like petty. You know, because how is this inspiring? How is Rose, Rose's post inspiring? What it is is actually like discouraging. And so Natalie responded. I agree with Miss McGowan. If it's McGowan, I am so sorry, but this is a live show and I am a human being and sometimes a bitch gets nervous, but I will say, loved you on Charmed. Okay, so it's an inaccurate from, what? Everybody wants a pointer? Oh, baby wants baby goods. Let me see. What's that? <laughs> everyone, everyone wants a pointer? Oh my god. Guys, 
I thought you were interrupting me because I had lipstick all over my teeth. No, it was worse. Okay, great. I agree with Miss McGowan. McGowan, McGowan. Oh, they're gonna eat me up, aren't they? Ooh, it's gonna be a BBQ for wearing a garment with women's names on it. Brave is a term I more strongly associate with actions like those of the women who have been testifying against Harvey Weinstein these last few weeks under incredible pressure. The past few years have seen a blossoming, sorry, 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 this <laughs> blossoming of directing opportunities for women due to the collective efforts of many people who have been calling out the system. The gift has been these incredible films. I hope that what was intended as a simple nod to them does not distract from their great achievements. Aww. And if you have a YouTube pop culture show, you should learn the names of the people you are talking about. <laughs> so. <laughs> that was, I, I, okay, we know, I think we can all agree, that was so classy, so on point. I love that she didn't start some back and forth, you know, like, well, you, Rose, like, I, you know, cause that's so fucking easy. It's so easy to do that, but instead, you know, she rose to the occasion. When they go low, you go high. Michelle Obama, okay? So we were, we saw this post and we were reading a lot of the comments on the post and one stuck out to me because I really, it really resonated with me. And it reads, uh, are you familiar with the golden rule? Treating others the way you'd want to be treated. Your slamming of Natalie Portman, who's only trying to do a good thing, was an indication that your values may need an adjustment. I agree. Okay. And this is not to say that I don't think that Rose is an amazing activist. Of course, as a woman, I see what she does for other women. And how could I not be like so proud and inspired by that, except for like instances like these. And I think that the problem, not the problem, what's happening is that she's passionate about it. And unfortunately that passion is maybe misplaced. And you know what? And I think she's bitter. And I'm just gonna say it. I think she's bitter. I'm not saying that it's right that she's bitter. No, wait. I think that she's bitter because she feels that a lot of people, these A-listers like Natalie Portman, and she's called out other other A-list actresses, knew what people like Harvey Weinstein were doing and they didn't say anything, you know? And she was like the first one to like stand up. And I'm not saying that that's a great reason to attack women online, but I do see the bitterness. Am I wrong? No. no. Oh, okay, cool. So <laughs> I just want everyone to know that anything that you do to, sp to support women, all women, women of color and trans women, you know, is a positive thing, okay? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> so we should all be supporting each other, period. And like, for example, you guys, you guys follow the show and you participate in the show and it warms my heart. How many people are on the chat right now? Uh, 724,000. 724,000 people, you know, like participating in the chat and it makes my day and like, in return, I am doing a merch giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> That's my show. It's live weekdays at 12.30 p.m.